Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're over in Lamar. Haven't been over here to uh, Seagon Bait in a while. Good old Seagon Bait. Nice little part of the history of the area. There's a marker up here we've read a few times. We might as well read it again while we're over here. It's a brief marker and got a lot of interesting facts. This little area has been here a long time and people have been coming here for vacations and just a good part of the area. And we got a dog. We got a dog already. It's going to be a good day. Take a look down by the water first. There's a little housing community on the left here. And we've kind of driven through there and learned about that before in the past. If you need a weather update, it's Texas. It's summer, so it's hot. <laughs> the uh, temperature is somewhere between a charcoal pit and hell <laughs> yeah I was reading a little the other night about the Union down here and uh, Union warships down here during the Civil War the American Civil War for those of you people that watch from where did my people watch from Portugal Canada Germany Australia, where else? Ireland, those are my regular commenters. But the Union Navy had kind of a stockade down here, a blockade, excuse me, not a stockade. I'm just thinking all those Union soldiers in their wool uniforms down here in the summer. I don't know how the North won that war. <laughs> Trying to hold my hand so it blocks the wind a little bit. I didn't look at the wind speed. I just know uh, in the afternoons it's been getting windier at the hottest time of the day and that's a good thing this was a big important place in its heyday and it's nice that it's still getting used today squid ice and a trump banner and there's a, a crab next to it. Pretty good. People getting bait. Seagone bait. Live shrimp, live croakers. Amy Montgomery. I forget who she is, but I remember looking it up when I first saw that. Amy Montgomery. So there's a boat ramp, it says, no trespassing, private ramp. But there's a historical marker here. And I think the no trespassing is just for the ramp because I don't know why they would put the historical marker on private property. But we have come across quite a few of those in our travels. Uh, the cemetery in Rockport is on private land, the small cemetery. This says Mills Wharf. Mills Wharf, built by John Howard Mills in 1932, was a renowned center for waterfowl hunting and fishing from the 1930s until it was sold in 1960. It consisted of cottages, a cookhouse, a guide service office, a store, a tackle shop, 
and a unique wildlife museum with a famous duck featured in Ripley's Believe It or Not, which had an oyster permanently attached to its foot. The new Hug the Coast Highway 35 made the wharf accessible, thereby aiding the growth of tourism, of the tourism industry in the area. In 1946, Herbert and Harry Mills bought the wharf from their parents and expanded the business with a unique seaplane service to drop off customers at remote fishing sites. So that's pretty cool. And I'm trying to block the wind, guys. There's a big, I've never noticed that little, that little bait box there, that bait pool, if you will. Look at all the water coming out of the uh, bait area. It's gorgeous out, guys. Took a drive through uh, Lamar this morning. Saw some deer. Saw just a glimpse of a baby deer. I mean, that thing had to be a few days old. Really blessed to see that caught two glimpses of it but it would not pose for my camera I don't know why apparently it hasn't seen Bambi yet I'm stealing another joke from my friend uh, Chappie's Tiki Bar my girlfriend and I were driving down the road she said you're passionate and I said, oh, thank you, sweetheart. And she said, no, no, the liquor store. You're, you're passionate. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Chappie. I think that's the second time I've stolen that joke. Got some covered. I want to call this a boat barn, but it's not. Covered docking area. Sometimes words are hard, kids. And I don't see any boats in them. I see a boat down the end. Everyone's out fishing. Pretty misty and hazy this morning. But it's burning off. Well, we got a sign coming up here. There, it's open. Ooh, it's open. Ooh. John, Jody Star Outfitting, 830-570-7410. Jody, JodyStarOutfitting.com. There you go. Not bad sleeping weather yet, guys. There you go. There's. Let's give Captain Bob a plug. No Limits Guide Service, no limits guide service .com. 936 327 0810. I think this is the last one. Heinz Guide Service, Trout and Redfish Charters, Fulton, Texas. And Heinz, you need to update your phone number there, buddy. You can't quite make it out. Sorry about that. Damn. Well, we were two out of three. There's a pelican. Pelican just uh, waiting for the boats to come in to get a snack. Looks like he's in pelican prison. I love those pelicans. They are dinosaurs. I think all birds are dinosaurs. There you go. You got some stools here, a little table. I don't know why that makes me uh, think of my friend Tracy and Leah's pool area. They've been working hard on their yard in Arkansas and just a beautiful pool. And their last big project was uh, adding fencing and painting it. And I always say this when they post photos and they both have channels. If you check the link link uh, in uh, the, the, my description, it's got a bunch of channels I watch. Um, Leah's channel is called Leah. 
and Tracy's channel is called Tracy Phillips. <clears throat> and he has a second channel called Ran Randomly Tracy. And they uh, have been very good friends. Known them four years now. And I've got to visit their uh, farm three times. And they've even come down to visit me. Nice mellow afternoon drive, guys. Sure, we can go down here. If you saw this morning's video, we were right over there. And there's that kind of blockage thing again. And I'm holding, you know, well, I, I want to hold the camera over here, but I think it's just going to be in the wind. We'll see. They got their own little beach there. Well, that's a nice way to go out. I'm going to do a little U-turn here. There's the marina from this side. It's a good day, guys. Y'all stay safe. Thanks for uh, checking out another part of the Rockport, Texas area with me. There's the wind. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Awesome. Thanks for watching.